Hey guys, David Essel here with another one of your daily video boosts. This question came in from one of our viewers asking me about the famous statement from the Law of Attraction, should we only do what feels good to become more successful in life? This is your online video community. Yes, I am your coach, your counselor, your cheerleader. Remember these words, no excuses, never give up, just results. No excuses, never give up just results. I remember when the law of attraction started to become very popular and there was all these very cute little sayings like the one that one of our club members here sent in today. Is this valid, David? Is this true from the law of attraction? Only do what feels good to become more successful in life. And the theory is, is that if you're doing only what feels good, you'll send out positive energy to the universe, which will attract positive end results from the universe. And you know what I'm going to say here. If that was true, that we only needed to do what felt good in life to accomplish goals, we wouldn't have public speakers in this world. <laughs> I can tell you that example for myself in just a second, but my more importantly is, what is it that you would rather not do today that you need to do? Write it down. Regarding money, your body, your relationship, your career, write down. You know what it is. You know what you're lo you're looking forward to this day and you're going, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to meditate. I don't want to figure out my expenses. I don't want to look at my profit and loss statements. I don't want to go home to my wife or my husband and, and put up with their crap again today. You know, like we don't want to take any responsibility here, right? What is it that you'd rather not do? So going back to that statement, it couldn't be more f farther from the truth. Do only what feels good. It's like, oh my Lord, some of these people in the world of personal growth that I happen to be a part of, they're just passing around this information that's insane. Usain Bolt, during the Olympics, when they asked how did he get to, to be the most incredible sprinter of all time, he kept saying, I have to do every day what I don't want to do. That was his answer. His coach makes him get up early in the morning and go to the gym. He hates early mornings. He hates going to the gym. But he did what, what, what it doesn't feel good in order to be successful. As a public speaker, my late um, uh, mentor, Richard Gerson, said to me, what do you want to be? I said, I want to be one of the top motivational speakers of all time. He said, okay, you're going to speak 200 times for free. I said, that's crazy. I don't need to. He goes, yes, you do. You need to speak 200 times for free so you're damn good and worth every penny someone's going to pay you. And he was right. I spoke 200 times for free. And the end result has been incredible. What about you? What do you not want to do? Harv Ecker, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Harv Ecker said to me one time, the key to success is doing what you don't want to do for as long as it takes. How about you, David? Are you willing to do what you do not want to do for as long as it takes? It's a great question because that's what all these successful athletes and musicians and artists and business people and great relationships and people with a great body. In the beginning, we all have to do what we'd rather not do until we master that part of our life. And then those things that we didn't like to do, they just become part of who we are. Thank you so much for writing in this question. Yes, we will dispel the myths of the law of attraction and other such teachings, but not just dispel them, we're gonna give you the solution to them as well. Let your friends and family know that the video program, what you're part of right now is available for them too. They can sign up themselves at talkdavid.com. And also, when you have questions, send them to me at talkdavid.com. I will answer them just like I'm doing here live on this video, because all I care about is that you're successful. I'm your coach your counselor, your cheerleader, you and I today. Let's do what we'd rather not to guarantee a successful tomorrow. Have a great day.